hope you can put all this rain to use after attending an upcoming workshop. Dan Dutton joins us live here for Living Green with 18 to talk about making your own rain garden. Thanks for being here this morning. Good morning. Well, you were here about a month ago talking about rain barrels. Right. And now you're talking about rain gardens. What are rain gardens exactly? Well, a rain garden is a shallow depression you might dig in your yard that's about six to eight inches deep. And the purpose of it is to catch rainwater coming off your roof or a driveway or parking lot and holds the water for about a, a, a day, 24 hours, mm -hmm. allowing the water to naturally soak into the ground, which alleviates the amount of water going into the storm drains or into a ditch. So could, um, how much room do you have to have to make a rain garden? I mean, is it something that people in the city can have? Or? Yeah, to, to figure out how large it needs to be, it's a, you figure about a fourth of the impervious surface you have. So if you have a roof area or a parking lot that's, say, 800 square feet, a fourth of that would be 200 square feet. So that's about the size that your rain garden would be. Okay, so can you use this with the rain barrels and just be extremely conscious? <laughs> yeah, you definitely could. You could actually have the water coming off your roof into a rain barrel, then the overflow could go into a rain garden. Uh, now, for folks who live in the city of Lafayette and West Lafayette, you're offering a really great program here to get started uh, with a rain garden. Yes, we're going to have a workshop uh, a week from today, the 25th of May, from 7 o'clock to 8.30 at the Lilly Nature Center in West Lafayette. And Crystal Joshua and from the City of Lafayette and Dave Henderson from West Lafayette and I are, are putting this workshop on. And it's a 50-50, the cost share program is 50-50 for people that attend the workshop and live in the city limits of Lafayette or West Lafayette. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pay up to $150 for people that want to put in a rain garden. And that could help cover the plants, the mulch, or the soil amendments for your rain garden. That would be huge. It's such an incentive to to create one of these. Um, what sort of plants are actually in a rain garden? Anything special or will people yeah. need to go to the workshop and kind of find out more? Yeah, the workshop will cover everything you need to know to build a, a rain garden mm -hmm. into your lawn. But we, we are recommending native plants because native plants have a very extensive root system. They're very deep. Your lawn turf, for example, maybe has a root system that goes down three, four, five inches, mm -hmm. where a lot of the native plants can go down to 10 feet in depth. And the native plants, once they get established, don't require extra water. They don't require fertilization or any pesticide control. And so this is really just another way to conserve water, help the environment, mm -hmm. just try to be more green friendly. Right. Be very yeah. conscious. Yes, it is. We're, we're encouraging people to, to try it because it really reduces the amount of water going to the, the water treatment plants mm -hmm. and down into the streams and the river. Okay. Workshop Tuesday, May 25th, the Lily Nature Center. Right. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you.